In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. I said Shahada, it will be 10 years in December. Um, I took Shahada, I was 47 years old. I considered myself a good Catholic lady. Um, but I always would go to church and pray to God. I couldn't pray to Jesus, it just didn't feel right. And I would always talk to God. I didn't come from a religious family. Uh, my grandmother took me to church once in a while, you know, on the major holidays, but that was only when I was little. So at seven years old, I would pick myself up and go to church and just talk to God. Um, when I was eight, I asked for my own Bible. And again, I just always talked to God. And, and I was always a big believer of the truth. Um, my whole life is based on the truth. And then um, when I was 47, I met someone who was Muslim and we started talking. I had, I had never met Muslims until I was about 46 years old. And um, so this was after 9-11 and I started reading the Quran and I just kept saying, but this is what I've believed my whole life. Wait, what's going on here? I thought I'm Catholic and why is everything that I'm reading to be true? I mean, they, it, to me it was the truth. and. Within about three months, three or four months of reading the Quran, I knew that there was no other choice. I, this is what I was my whole life. I just didn't know it until that time. And then on December 25th, I um, said Shahada with my Christmas tree in the dining room because I was, I was still Catholic at the time. But I just knew it was over. I knew that part of my life, that 47 years of being a Catholic girl was over, that I really was Muslim and my parents when they baptized me, just didn't know it. What is the truth? What is the truth? There's only one God. And that's who you ask for help, and that's, that's just who you go to. You don't need an inter someone to intercede. You don't need to go and speak to someone else. You just talk to God in your whole relationship, and you just lay everything to God. And it's just, it's just, it's so freeing. You you just you're just so free. That's the only thing. And you know, people look at me. Oh, aren't you hot? Look at how you're dressed. And I've never felt more free. <laughs> That's, it, it's truth and it's freedom. I mean, the ultimate freedom of to be a woman, to be a Muslim woman. Fun a lot. It's just wonderful. Ramadan. Oh, I love Ramadan. I mean, I fasted when I was you know Catholic on some of the Catholic uh, days of of fasting and. I just, I know the first couple of days it's a little rough, but then it's just so amazing what you're doing. You're sacrificing and you're doing this all for God, and it's just amazing. And when Ramadan is over, I want to cry. And I know I have some sister friends who are like that. We just want to cry. You just, you love it so much. It's just an amazing, it's an amazing um, feat, and it's just an, it's just amazing what you can do. You know, so many people say, oh, I couldn't fast that many hours, especially, you know, it's been in the summer. But it's amazing what you can do when you're doing it for God. It's just absolutely amazing.